What is going on guys? I have a very special video for you and I have some special guests. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Nina. And I'm Randa. Thanks for having us. And I'm Nina and Randa. Yeah. <laughs> but today I wanted to have these girls on the channel because they have a different story of curing their acne than I do. Uh, I took Accutane and then eventually moved over to a whole, a whole food like plant-based diet and stuff. But they didn't ever take Accutane. So I think it's it's interesting to you hear. You were close. Were you? We were, we yeah, were, that we was were just about to go just on about Accutane. To. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why did you not do it? Well, because, well, we had um, some other relatives or cousins who had taken Accutane and um, they, they had, lost like, their joint hair, hair, they lost their hair, yep. there was a lot of bad side effects and we were just like, oh, like, but we were there like, must be skin. another way, like, you can't, shouldn't just have to take a pill to mask something, like, obviously there's a problem, so we, yeah, we just were like, it's not an option, we're gonna figure out a different way. So also, I have a video going up on these girls' channels, so you guys should go over there, <laughs> subscribe to them, check it out, leave some comments, say, Brian sent me here, give yeah. a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. and if you're from us, Subscribe to Brian. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so when did your acne start and did anything specifically trigger it or did it just kind of come on as you were getting older? And yeah, it was kind of like, it, it was like a gradual thing. Like when we were around 19 or 20. Um, started getting cystic. Started getting like some cystic. And I think it's initially because we started putting like oil products on our face. I think that's what like makeup. triggered it and makeup. Yeah. And then like over time, like we would take antibiotics and it would like clear up. Yeah. And then like after a month it would come back worse and it kind of became this period of like six months where it would, we would like keep the acne away but then it would come back even worse. I would say like the bad acne came on when we were 20 years old and mm -hmm. our parents went out of town to Hawaii and we got really, really sick. Yeah, actually when we had the really, we really bad acne. We got sick once a month. Like we I had sinus infections. Not even just like, like a cold once a month, like really sick once a month. Yeah. Like out for like over a week. And so we were, we were sick again and our parents were out of town and so Willie was the one taking care of us and he'd be like, what do you guys want? And we'd be like, oh, like peanut butter toast. We didn't like realize that the peanut butter was like aggravating, aggravating mm. our acne. And so my, I like sent a photo. I remember seeing a proactive commercial in our bunk beds and I was like, mom, I called her. I was like, mom, I need proactive. Like, what am I going to do? I sent her photos. She's like, oh my God, like go to the dermatologist. She, they like, my parents like made us go to the dermatologist while they were out of town. And then, so we got on antibiotics. Yeah, and that was like probably one of the first times that, that we, was it one of the first times we got an antibiotics for our skin? Yeah. I would say, I think so. And I remember actually, because I had like a respiratory infection, I went to the doctor like to get that fixed and then he goes, well, what about your skin? Like he was more concerned about my bad acne than my than like, your actual, actual health. health. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's kind of interesting what you guys are saying is, um, Maybe not only peanut butter, but you're saying peanut butter is something that triggered you guys really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. high fat foods. It's an interesting point because for me, peanut butter doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So I think everybody also has to find what is your trigger because people always ask me the question on, on my YouTube, like, what should I not eat? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you. Like, yeah, right. for sure. Everybody is different. You know, you yeah. got to kind of like vibe it out, find out what it is or what it isn't that's breaking out. Maybe eliminate things slowly. Yeah. Break. If you are breaking out, there is something you're eating that your body's clearly not agreeing exactly. with. Totally. Yeah. And like, even for me, like gluten was totally fine for like a few years. And then all of a sudden, like started breaking out again. I was like, huh, that's weird. And then I heard like gluten might be a sensitive thing. So then I like cut out gluten and lo and behold, like my skin clears up. Again. And you can change. Like, yeah, exactly. You can get more sensitive about other things. Yeah. Well. We had like cystic, I don't even have photos of it because it was so bad, but we had like cystic, like I call them like witch warts, like the size of quarters. And I just Big remember marble ones. Yeah, yeah, being at Native Foods, uh, like crying my eyes out because I was going to have to be on American Idol like oh, in like three days and just like bawling my eyes out. I was like, I'm going to be on national television like this. Yeah. I know brought, like literally had a meltdown in public. I was supposed to be like working, like being paid yeah. to work. I just had a public meltdown. Yeah, but what, like, what was one of the worst situations you had to be in, or like something like the worst thing that someone called you? Hmm, I don't think anyone called us. Things. People used to call me Rudolph, for example. Oh. Like in high school, because high school was like vicious. No one yeah, cares right. at all. So they were calling me Rudolph like every day, because I'd always this is like the like, yeah. right here, here, and then like right above my eye mm -hmm. line. Well, we didn't really have too much acne while we were in high school, so we were like out out of high school. Um, but no one really like called us any names. I just remember it got to a point where our friends would text us and be like, "Hey, like Nina Rana, come to the beach today. Like, come hang out with us." And I would just be like, "No, no like it's, yeah. it's okay." And then like I didn't even want to yeah. go to the gym to work out. Yeah, I just yeah. remember just staying inside a lot. Oh, I remember going to the gym and I I had like it was like almost like it looked like my face was just like covered in like blood like that bad and and I just remember the the girl who worked at the front desk was like 
oh, like your skin, like you should buy this and this yeah. and this, this needling thing. Oh, this will help. And I just remember like, like I was like, I don't, I was like, I don't even it. like right. want to like work out here anymore. Like I just like busted in tears on the elliptical. Like why would, I'm like, why would you say something? And it's so annoying because everybody tells you like, oh, you just don't wash your face enough. Oh, you just yeah. don't, you just need this product. Yeah. You just need Everybody's that. You're like, you're like, yeah, bitch, you don't think I tried that? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> That's what you want to say, but you don't. Yeah. Because you don't want to bring so more like, attention. Yeah. 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 I remember when I was at the gym one time and I was working out super hard or whatever, and then I I was like done with my workout, went to the locker room, and then I noticed that one of my zits had popped and it was just dripping. Oh. And I was like, damn, no one, no one was like, hey, dude, uh, your face is dripping. Puss, like, Yikes. Oh, man. When I was really, really sad about my acne and, and crying about it, and felt like I just had to wear makeup and cover myself, mm -hmm. I remember my mom got a, like a bunch of pictures of celebrities that also had acne like Cameron Dope. Diaz, um, Megan Fox, like all these like super beautiful women who like all dealt with acne and so I would just kind of look at that and be like you know what they didn't like, like it in the way they didn't let it get the in the way of their success granted I don't think they had probably had it as bad as I did but but they didn't let it get in the totally. way so I was like I, I should do that too you know right like, I, I just looked at like other people like who were going through the same thing like hopefully people can look at all of That's us what I'm saying. and be like wow like they went through it like I can get through it too here we are on YouTube like yeah I honestly think what helped me was putting makeup on because it's like yeah like to help conceal it a little bit like at least most people can't see it as much I just felt better about myself not that you have to cover up to but if better, that makes you feel better then you should do better it. people right. shouldn't I don't like it when people make you people feel bad like oh you were making makeup your it's like you know what if you if it makes you feel good like screw that like you should be able to wear it totally. nobody yeah. should judge you for it yeah whatever makes you feel better yeah I just wear beanies when I go to the gym oh that probably makes it worse though you're like sweating under oh yeah there. totally but not visually you yeah. can't see yeah. it so you know half your face is cool yeah we would wear like floppy hats yeah yeah, yeah the big ass hats. Yeah. You can't see anything from far because the shadow. Yeah. Because direct sunlight, that's the most yes. red version oh of Oh my gosh, I remember right? like while we were in Europe. Oh yeah. Like if it would be like oh, sun like going right down, you could see all the little We'd be like, we have to be in the shade. Everywhere. We have yep. to be in the shade. What are some of the things that you guys tried that didn't help your acne at all? Like okay. you know, proactive and things like that. Yeah, I would say you, you take it. I'm gonna say, um, well, we tried a ton of different facial products that really didn't do much. If anything just made it worse. It and just kind of like more red. irritated. Um, we tried a bunch of different antibiotic strains, which which worked, worked. and then they'd be like, oh my gosh, like finally, like it's clear, and then it would come back worse. Doxycycline, all that. Yes, Doxycycline, the yeah. Worst. I remember. Clindamycin, all of it. Um, so then none of that really helped. We used to get like facials once a month or like every No, no, no. Week. We, we got facials like twice a week. We, yeah, we'd spend like hundreds of dollars Jeez. a week on yeah. facials. It did um, help. No, it, it, it wouldn't really help. It wouldn't really help. Yeah. Uh, the only yes. thing, can we say what did help? Uh, yeah, that's, are we, that's are the we actually, okay. definitely. The, the only thing that helped was when we changed our diet. We're really sensitive. You already know, but I'll explain. <laughs> We're really sensitive to like high fat foods and oils. You know, the dermatologist is always saying, don't get rid oil of in oil your in your skincare if you have acne prone skin, but they don't say get rid of oil in your diet. And it's not no. like when you think of oil, olive oil, you don't think like, oh, that's something that's unhealthy. Like you, you wouldn't yeah. think that, that it would cause acne. So getting rid of like olive oil, and not that we ate even that much of it, yeah. or even soy. Soy was like, a, I feel like a, the biggest one. Because we just ate lots lots of oatmeal with soy milk and yeah. didn't think, why would soy milk give us acne? Exactly. Right, right, right. So just like making small changes like that, like we were, we were already vegan, so like getting rid of soy and like Replacing butter, it with like potatoes. And just and replacing stuff. it with uh, other food that we enjoyed, we were able to like clear our skin and finally feel like we had control over our yeah. life. That's it, that's, I, I like that point because uh, you said even a small amount. Yeah, it because makes a big small. difference. What I'll get is I'll tell people, and I think most people that are on my channel know, dairy is a no-no. Oh yeah. yeah, even How? once a month, like you'll you could still get a breakout if you have dairy. Right. right. Yeah. Well, right. and then people will be like, well, I mean, no, I'm not eating dairy, but and then it'll be like, but that I had like I had one, one yogurt. Yeah. 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 Like, well, you are then. And I'm like, well, no, like it's not it's not even one. Like yeah. even one serving of something that triggers you will trigger you and cause you to have breakouts. And mm -hmm. what do you think about it? Like what specifically in milk do you think makes people break out? I think all the, the hormones. hormones. I think that's hard to say. I I it could be the hormone or it could be the lactose because you have a lactase enzyme inside your body. And if you right. don't have enough of it, then your body has to get rid of the rest of the lactose somehow. Oh, you can't digest it purges. It. For me, I feel like that was exactly what it did. It was just like, let's go into these cyst pockets. Mm. But isn't it so cool that we went through like such a dev like devastating for me it was like devastating time in our lives, and we were able to like get it under control and help people. Like it, it's oh, like, it's the best thing the, in my life. Yeah, too. the thing that was so bad is like the best thing that could have happened Legit. to us. Yeah, because I have chills. 
<laughs> Dude, I made a video literally saying that like I'm the most grateful for acne like I would never take it back because it's giving me the opportunity like the ability to go and help people yeah, right. that I would never be able to connect with and on another level even with stuff that I don't understand like I haven't been through like obesity and things like that yeah I can yeah. understand the pain yes you know people always pointing out oh well have you tried this diet and you're like yeah. I've tried every diet yeah right. or whatever it is right so luckily this diet that we do can also help with obesity and type 2 diabetes yeah this is what I wanted you guys on the channel for, is to show <laughs> the, the way that you guys fixed it. So yeah, totally. you guys took pretty much, because they have a little bit of a different approach than me, you guys mm -hmm. pretty much went like really low really fat. Low, low yeah. fat. Yeah, really low fat. I mean, because most people when they think low fat, they are still eating pretty high fat, like the standard American. But so we basically just eat lots of like starches, starches that are super satisfying, like potatoes, God, beans, I love potatoes. Rice. beans, rice, oats, vegetables, um, fruits, gluten-free cereals. Rice? Uh, is rice cool for you guys? Or yeah, no? we rice love we eat rice literally yeah, or brown is multiple fine. times a day. Noodles? Oh yeah, rice noodles? I yeah. love that. Okay, yeah, like what about pasta? pasta? Regular yeah. pasta? I don't have we, gluten. We just do like rice pasta. But, uh, yeah. So it's like super, super satisfying stuff. We like constantly have energy. Actually, funny story. When we were like trying to change our diet, we were like, oh, you know, this acne is probably diet related. We went on low carb oh, vegan, no. vegan which is literally quinoa. Yeah. No keto. Like <laughs> so not cool. Quinoa and, and avocado, that's it. Like quinoa and avocado. Fruit. And our skin did improve, but like I was like, I lost like 10 pounds in a week, probably water weight because there was no fruit. And so the, the great thing about the diet that we eat is, is like it's very satisfying. Like you have energy. We mm -hmm. can like work out and just feel happy and good. Yeah. So I've actually been doing a program with them, basically talking yeah. about this whole thing. And personally, my acne wasn't uh, necessarily cured by the fat. It was more so by the amount of dairy I was mm -hmm. eating and all this other crazy stuff. Yeah, I would say if you don't want to get rid of the, the fat, at least get the rid dairy. of the dairy. Yeah. And the pro like the whey proteins yeah. and things like that. But. Not everyone's gonna be able to cure it the same way that I did. That's why I'm I'm saying like if the way that I've told you guys to do it doesn't work, you could also try this out, which is a, a whole different way than most people have ever even really addressed doing the whole acne thing, which is going whole foods mostly, right? You guys yeah. don't do any like processed like gardein nope. and things like that, no. right? No, but we don't miss it. Yeah, that's dope. I don't miss it at all. As long as I eat like enough potatoes and enough food, then I don't like crave it. Yeah. That's awesome. You just kind of like crave the last thing you ate, at least for me, and I just Well, you like to. your taste palate kind of changes as yeah. you go, right? Mm -hmm. If you're used to eating like buttered popcorn from the movie theater, you're not going to get used to <laughs> oh, eating rice yet. Oh, that sounds so gross. Right? It oh. sounds like pop, 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 pop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Popping up on my face. Dude, that kind of so cute. So <laughs> cute. Should we get him in the shot? Dude, get that cat. Hey, nobody. He knows nothing of acne. <laughs> yeah. I used to like think like, God, oh, I wish I could be a cat then I'll back me. Do you still break out sometimes or is it like things are cool and you can kind of like goof around with foods or what? Oh, we definitely like even like eating, I still stick to the same diet and I still break out like every now and then or like around my period or if I'm like super stressed. Like when yeah. I had a breakup, <laughs> it was not that bad. It was not that it bad. Not it would be like, so you maybe, always make it worse for yeah. yourself. Yeah, and maybe it'd be like maybe like three zits at a time, like mm -hmm. small zits, which isn't a big deal, especially from considering where I came from. but. Right. So yeah, we still get like Oh yeah, occasional. I still get like the occasional breakout and I find that like, or traveling I have, do it. or traveling. I yeah, I have tried like other like reintroducing not not a lot of foods, but I was like, I'm gonna nuts. try a cliff bar, I'm gonna try some nuts. You had such a bad stomach. I, ache. From cliff bars I had like a really bad stomach ache. Probably just I wasn't used to it. And I did I didn't break out too much, but with nuts I still do break out. But it's like I don't even like care to like reintroduce yeah. foods because I'm so happy with what I'm eating, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. So I'm like why you know and it's just and it's not worth the risk do like salty foods break you guys up no i don't we, find that salty foods aggravate me at all we, we eat salt i'm like lay on the salt Put she loves salt. salt she'll like go eat she'll my go favorite. to eat my food and she'll be like nina this needs more salt so it know. really seems fine to me she I likes salt more. Salty i love food. salt i like what sugar more sugary foods do that break you up i find that like if i have like a lot of extra sugar like not so much maple syrup but maybe like processed sugar i think that does aggravate my skin so I just like try to stay away, but I don't think it's like super bad on my skin. Well, I do like maple syrup like in my in the mornings, and I also do like dates like every oh, yeah. day. Whole fruits. And so like whole fruits, me. and and I don't limit my fruit or anything like that. And I don't really do brown sugar just because I just like maple syrup. So I don't really know if it aggravates. Does your makeup aggravate your stuff? Uh, certain kinds of makeup will aggravate. Like if it's like super oily, or like sometimes mm -hmm. like you, we can just tell if it's when like it's super thick. If it's cakey. super thick, mm -hmm. it'll make yeah. us like itchy and like it'll. But as long as it, as long as it's oil free and like kind of a thinner makeup, then it's not a problem. Yeah, we just like use oil free foundation, oil free moisturizer, oil free soap. 
Yeah, just keep it oil free. Even our shampoo, we keep oil free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are very we're like, super anal. On that. <laughs> yeah. In the group, uh, like the thing that we have, yeah. on, like the, the intervention group. Yeah. That's everyone will be like, oh yeah, like I'm using this or that, and you're like, the ingredient list. You'll pull it out. <laughs> it'll circle with a red. Nope, that oil right there. Yeah, the third exactly. ingredient. People always ask me this. I don't really have a great answer for this because I don't always use moisturizers. Mm -hmm. Do you guys use moisturizers ever? Oh I yeah. I do. Yeah, especially like because we're girls, we have to wear makeup, and it's so dry in the valley. We definitely. Yeah, and I think like having to wash your face and take off makeup, it can be dry drying. and a bit irritating. So we actually use a prescription moisturizer. No, I don't. I use a prescription moisturizer from the dermatologist called Episerum. And it's just like, it's for really dry skin and they, they just send it to my house once a month, so. I use, I use vitamin B cream by Raya, mm -hmm. which is just, it doesn't test on animals. It's just, it's, it's not like super moisturizing, but it, it gets the job done. Well, I think that was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. That was so fun. I really like all the answers. I think this is a really good way to get a different perspective, like I was saying. It's like a podcast, like a live podcast. Right. Yeah. And I don't really run into a lot of people who have been through severe acne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw up pictures of them throughout the video. I'm sure you guys probably already saw it. But yeah, I'll send them to you. Yeah, you guys had similar acne to me. Mm -hmm. I'd say worse, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. Like really severe acne. So it's cool to actually be able to sit down and talk about the differences and like the details of it all. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate yeah. you guys being on the yeah, show. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Make yeah. sure that you guys go over to the channel. So I'm gonna put the, the links right there. I'll put the Instagram and the YouTube. Go follow, subscribe, do all that good jazz. <laughs> say who sent you and all of that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you haven't left a comment already. Subscribe. If not subscribed already, Team Beyond the Week. CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week. <laughs>